Hi everyone. My name is Rivka Rosenberg. People call me Rivki. Today I will teach you, sixth graders, a very interesting lesson. The lesson is called Color My World. Let's begin. What will we do today? We will learn important words and expressions. We will read a story and answer questions about it. We will discuss the moral of the story and we will write about the moral of the story. What do you need to prepare for this class? You would need some colors, a pencil and an eraser, and of course, your notebook. Ready to begin? Let's begin. Imagine a world with no color. Look at these pictures. Imagine them without any colors. Imagine the flower with no color, the butterfly with no color, these fruits and vegetables with no color. Can you imagine a world with no color? Would be definitely different from what we know, right? A world with no color. Interesting. What do you see in the picture? I see a boy and he's painting a rainbow. This is our topic of today, colors. Important vocabulary. A delivery man, you see in the picture, this is a delivery man and he has a package in his hand. Additional important words are apples. I'm sure you know the word apples, grapes, and a watermelon. A few more important words. Tomatoes. I'm sure you know the word tomatoes. Cucumbers. A pumpkin. You see in the picture a few pumpkins. They are orange. And asparagus. I love asparagus. It's a very, very yummy vegetable. Very important expression for us to know today before we start reading the story is in a hurry. In a hurry is fast, fast, fast to get somewhere or to do something. You see the man in the picture? He's in a hurry to probably to get to work. I was in a, in a hurry this morning to get to the studio to teach you. In a hurry. I would like you now to match the sentences that you have on one side with their matching pictures on the other side. Let's read the sentences before we complete this exercise. A. The delivery man has a package for you. B. Tomatoes are red. C. Cucumbers are green. D. The woman is in a hurry to go to work. Complete this exercise and I will be back here very soon.
Welcome back. Let's look at your answers. The delivery man has a package for you. Of course, this is number three. You see the man in the picture with the, with the brown uh, shirt? He is a delivery man and he has a package for you. B. Tomatoes are red. Of course, it's answer four. You see the tomatoes in the picture? They are red. C. Cucumbers are green. And D. The woman is in a hurry to go to work. See the woman in the picture? She's in a hurry. Pre-reading exercise. Try and complete these sentences while you are reading the story. Take a picture of the slide or try to write it down. Just the answers. And try to, to write the answers while you are reading the story. Let's read them together first. Can you guess what the story will be about? A. It wasn't my birthday and I wasn't in any mm, so I opened it very mm. On Tuesday, the delivery man returned with a mm. C. It was a mm with beautiful mm. D. There is a new mm on our front door. Color My World by Mel Rosenberg. Mel Rosenberg is the author and the illustrations were done by Rotem Omri. And this is brought to you courtesy of our books.com. Color My World. I wanted to show you before we begin that I also like to color and I color with my toothbrush, well, sorry, <laughs> with my paintbrushes. I brush my teeth with my toothbrush, but I paint with my paintbrushes. You see, I have a black paintbrush, a red paintbrush, and I have three other paintbrushes. I dip the paintbrushes in the paint and I like to color and to draw. So today we will talk about the story Color My World. One lovely Monday, I was busy counting the clouds outside my window when there was a knock at the front door. My mother went to answer. It was the delivery man bringing a package with my name on it. It wasn't my birthday and I wasn't in any hurry, so I opened it very slowly. On the package, I could read the words, fruit colors. I had never heard of fruit colors before, so I put it on the shelf. Shelf ze madaf. On Tuesday, the delivery man returned with a basket of white apples. I knew what I had to do. On Wednesday, the delivery man brought me a basket of white grapes. That was even more fun. I was not surprised when Thursday rolled around and the delivery man brought a case of white watermelons. I was so happy. I waited on Friday for the delivery man. What fruit will he bring me today? I thought to myself. Instead, he brought me another package. It wasn't my birthday and I wasn't in any hurry, so I opened it very slowly. It was a package of vegetable colors. During the following week, I colored tomatoes, cucumbers, asparagus, and even pumpkins. Sure enough, at the end of the week, the delivery man showed up 
with another package. It wasn't my birthday and I wasn't in any hurry, so I opened it very slowly. It was a package with beautiful colors. On the box, I could read the words Hungry Lion Colors. When the delivery man arrived the next day, we were not at home. In fact, we left town in quite a hurry and we now live in another country. There is a new sign, Shelet, on our front door. The sign says, no more deliveries, please. Did you um, manage to complete the sentences? Let's see the answers. Try to complete the answers and I will review your answers when we get back. Welcome back. Let's review your answers. A. It wasn't my birthday and I wasn't in any hurry. So I opened it, the package, right? I opened it very slowly. On Tuesday, the delivery man returned with a basket of white apples. And C. There is a new sign, Shelet in Hebrew on our front door. I hope you wrote these answers as I did. Now I have a fun exercise for you. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. What is your favorite color? Pick your favorite color, the color you like the most, and answer these questions in your notebook. What color is most important in your life. Number two, imagine a world without that color. Number three, describe the world without your color. So for example, um, let's see, if I pick the color blue, what color is most important in your life? Probably the color blue. I would write my color the color that is most important in my life is blue. Imagine a world without that color. Hmm, let's see if I can imagine. Now I have to describe the world without the color. That means the sky is not blue anymore, the ocean, the beach, the sea is not blue anymore. What else is not blue? 
many, many things in blue are no longer blue. Write in your notebook the answers to these questions. Share your work with your friends, family, and with your teacher. I'll be back soon. Welcome back. What did you answer for these questions? What color is most important in your life? Could you imagine a world without that color? How did you describe the world without your color? For example, if you wrote tomato, uh, if you wrote red, so can you imagine a tomato that is not red or white or clear color? How about flowers? Can you imagine them without any color? Very difficult, right? Let's continue. Let us think now about the moral of the story. What does it mean, the moral? What is the moral means? The moral 
of the story is supposed to teach you, the reader, to be a better person. What did you learn from this story? How can it teach you to be a better person? How does this story connect to your life? What do you think the author, Mel Rosenberg, means by coloring your own world? So to me, the moral of the story is that you should add some color, some interesting uh, things in your life to make it more interesting and to take advantage of your life, to use it, to lose, use your life for very important things to do, to add color, to learn more. That's what I think the moral to me. So the moral of the story is supposed to teach you, the reader, something, how to become a better person. How does this connect to your life? For example, I would say that if I add uh, music to my life, my life becomes much more richer. And I think that this is what the author Mel Rosenberg means by coloring your own world, adding more color, more interesting things to do in your life, to travel, to read more books, to draw, to listen to music, to do good deeds, for example. Live your life in color. It's an expression. Live your life in color. What does it mean? It means living life to the fullest, to adding a lot, a lot of things to your life and getting the most out of life. People say you only live once, right? So you have to live it to the fullest, to, to learn as much as you can, to do as many good deeds as you can, to add more interesting things to your life. Live your life in color. It means not taking for granted your life, not taking, oh, not saying, oh, I live, so, so what? Life is not so anything special. On the contrary, life is very special and you should live your life to the fullest. And that you th should think that every day is a great one. Every day you should do something great. For example, doing many things in life, saying thank you that you live, doing a good deed, helping a person. It fills you as a person when you help other people. Live your life in color. This is the expression. How can you live your life in color? I wrote here several ideas what I thought of how I can live life in color. Would you like me to share them with you? I will. So live my life in color means be grateful. Say thank you for everything you have. Say thank, re say thank you that you live. Thank you to your parents for bringing you to this world. Slow down. Be your own best friend. Treat yourself in kindness. Give to others. You can give charity, you can help others. If you have a grandparent, you can make them happy. Do things you enjoy. If you enjoy music, you should add music to your life. If you enjoy exercising, you should do that. One more idea I put here, two more ideas I put here is spend time in silence. Silence and thinking about your life, thinking about yourself. And the last point is ask for help if you need it. If you need help in school, you should ask for help. If you need help with your private lives in different many, many people can probably help you. How can you live your life in color? I would like you to do this exercise in your notebook. How can you add color to your life? Give your own two examples. My example was I can wear colorful clothes. Today I wore black, but I usually like to wear green, pink. Makes me cheerful, makes me happy. So how can you add color to your life? Complete this exercise and I'll be back soon.
welcome back. I hope you managed to do these, this activity. Which uh, examples did you give for adding more color to your life, living your life in color? Share your work with your friends, family, and teacher. Now at the end of the lesson, you can read and write new words. For example, delivery man, package. You can read and write new expressions. For example, in a hurry or to live life in color. There is the word color missing there, to live life in color. You can read a story. You can reflect on the moral of the story. And you can write about the moral of the story. I hope you have enjoyed my lesson today. My name is Rivka Rosenberg, and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.